another observation I made, uh, uh, Tom, uh, you you may like it uh, as a as a teacher. I mean, if, if our um, you know uh, as a teacher or if our children if if they, if they were they are in college, imagine the you know the the enterprise of learning yeah. is uh, is exponentially changed and grown. Right. So you, right. Uh, I mean, if you are a teacher, I mean, if you are a student, for example, and learning physics, and you you're uh, you're um, you're learning uh, d- dynamics um, and uh, the motion, uh, you know, the momentum and the velocity and the acceleration. Remember, if that uh, when a when a physics teacher stand in front of it and you you know on the board or on the whiteboard or you know they uh, write the picture and if a car picture or a, you know traveling at the speed of uh, 32 miles per second or so imagine that class for a second now. Uh, uh, the the new st- the current students or the future students will be able to look at at his or her convenience all these teaching library yeah uh, at any time in three D in three D right and 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 if it is a online a free world of t- picking I want the best teacher yes you know in the world yes and you have now. A, data exponential use of data and you rate you know based on the data you now have the best teachers you can uh, pick them pick you can hand pick them yeah it doesn't have to yeah. limit to an institution and scary thing for professors it, by the way because uh, it becomes suddenly competitive right it is becoming <laughs> yeah. suddenly common and also tom uh, it becomes in every profession it becomes competitive yeah. uh, so the you know patient and a doctor uh, same scenario it doesn't have to be x you know, a particular regional hospital, but you can pick a doctor from anywhere in the world right. that close right. uh, the access to these experts. So, so let me ask you about, we talked about two things. We talked about AI and we talked about augmented reality. Is how would it look if the two were interfaced? In other words, these, these contact lenses you're wearing that give you access to the world also gave you access to a digital assistant is that something that might be happening so in in reality both are used uh, at the same time oh okay both are used at the same time in, in these type of examples that we shared oh i see a vast amount of data is built in the cloud you know right so the these devices as a smart devices uh, they, it can access all these data and uh, and that data makes these devices smarter. Um, I mean, another uh, one example. I was listening to um, uh, Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk. Yes, he's uh, a he's a favorite of ours. Uh, 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 I don't know. Well, yeah, I, wait, I, let me say I mean, he's a favorite of mine. I'm not sure where Tom stands. We'll have to have a show <laughs> about that coming up. I, yeah, I, I like his podcast. <laughs> They're I, really I, funny. I, yeah, I, I like uh, I like him in the sense that he takes things that is right never imagined i mean right. he takes you know like going to the moon or you know or, or whatever you know that things that is normally we don't think he right. imagined so i like him that way Im- high imagination creativity he's right. really so he was, a, he's really a disruptor oh, if you uh, talk uh, about yeah, that yeah he, he does up things and we, we that is kind of the thing that we we all like may not everybody like it but what he was saying about uh recently i was listening so you know we he he made the electric car and you know, pretty cool things. So, yes. And he has ventured into so many areas. Yes. And uh, so, autonomous vehicle. You heard he has ventured into that. Right. And you know, our our um, our own favorite Google also ventured into autonomous vehicle. Right. So, right. So one, uh, w- I was watching or reading about this um, comment uh, CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, was making. Tesla's autonomous vehicle yes is much better than google's autonomous vehicle and and that and the reason for that is the reason for that is, is this is where the data plays a big okay. role so <clears throat> what what elon musk is saying that you depend on us to develop the autonomous vehicle of the future right better than we can do better than google because we already travel multi-million miles of autonomous yes. uh, 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 vehicle traffic around the world. 
we have the we have millions of millions of millions tr- um, data that our autonomous vehicle can make better decisions on so so that that brings the point about so it's learning it's learning it's and learning. that's the whole ai thing yeah. right yeah and, and you can imagine uh, you know like we we think simple example when we stand uh, uh, how can I don't want to travel in the autonomous vehicle uh, or send my <laughs> send my grandma on an autonomous vehicle. To <laughs> right. You know, right. You know, yeah. Can it make a, des- a decision when uh, you know when, when I, just like I drive with my grandma and I can stop there suddenly if someone cross uh, without without following the traffic sign, you know, we expect everything to be perfect uh, in 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 order to autonomous vehicle to work, but if thumbs, something like this is somebody jumps in and uh, recent you know our a- accident recently happened a, a truck you know didn't right. couldn't see the driver couldn't see because the front because of the reflection of uh, sunlight in the, the morning. sun mm-hmm. so these are things only through data the more the data you have the ai uh, and the um, ai build those scenarios and you it knows how to maneuver that autonomous vehicle. One thing, humans get feedback, but they forget the feedback. AI will never forget the feedback. So it's always there. Yeah, that's interesting.